Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to draw two different types of robots. We like to draw some robots with me. Uh, we're going to start with the letter N for this robot that looks like this. His name is Kipbot. And then we're also going to draw a letter H to make this robot. His name is Q-68, Q-68 and Kipbot. So uh, if I'm drawing Kipbot, the first step for that is drawing the letter and it's going to be a lowercase letter n like this. You can see the step right here. And I'm going to draw it big so that way it's going to be easier for everyone to see. For step two, I'm going to add this little circle to the tip of the end to make his antenna. And then a line that goes across like this to make the top of his head. Looks like they had some little squiggly lines on the top of this. I'm going to add some squiggle lines too kind of curvy lines. And then to make the eyes, I'm going to draw a curved line right under here. Kind of almost looks like a capital letter D that's laying down. And another curved line over here. And after that, I'm going to add a rectangle for the mouth. And that's going to be the end of step two. And again, if I'm going too fast for anyone, feel free to pause the video or go back. Next, uh, we're going to work on the teeth. So there's like these bumps inside the mouth. There's these lines going over the eyes like this to make them look more like robot eyes. And then there's a line that goes from the bottom of the end on this side, kind of curves around and goes to the bottom of the line on this side. So that's the step, step three. Step four, it looks like they're going to start to make the arms and the legs. So the legs are basically two curved number 11s. So there's a curved number 11 over here and a curved number 11 over here. And then attached to those to make the feet, I'm going to make a capital letter D that's laying down. So I'm going to a capital letter D that's laying down. And then with the arms, I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to make a curved number 11, so two lines, with a circle at the end of them like this. And same thing on the side, two curved lines to make like a number curved 11, and a circle at the end of them like this. And then after that, we just add some more details. So we add some lines for the arms to make them look more like robot arms. It looks like they had claws for the hands, so they had like these upside down letter U's. And then they had some lines to the legs too. And little lines on the feet. So that's how Kipbot looks. And again, we started that by making the letter M. Next, uh, we're gonna make again Q68 by drawing a lowercase letter H. So that's the first step right here. After that, looks like we're gonna to start to work on his head. So I'm gonna make a line that goes like this, right here inside the H. And under that line, I'm gonna draw a circle and that's gonna make the robot's eye. And then the bottom of the robot's body is going to be another curved line that goes from this tip of the H to that tip of the H. Okay. It looks like for the antenna, they add like a little square right here, put some lines inside of it. They make these little rectangles on the side of the head to make it look like robot ears. They add a little mouth by drawing a rectangle over here, some lines inside of it. And they add some lines to make it look like shiny metal. Because robots are usually made out of metal, aren't they? And they add those lines on the inside of the eye. Make it look more like a robot eye. All right, and then the last step is we just have to make the arms and legs again. So the legs, at least to start out, looks like um, Q68's legs are kind of like wheels. So I'm gonna draw a straight line over here, a straight line over here. And then next to the straight line, I'm going to draw an oval. Kind of almost looks like a letter B. I'm going to draw an oval on this side, and that kind of looks like a letter D. I color this a little bit in 
to make them look more like wheels. And then his arms, actually those weren't ears, that was my mistake. These are actually where his arms go. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing kind of like what we did with Kitbot. We're gonna draw two curved number ones to make number 11. And they made the hands a little differently this time. So it's kind of like a letter C or a letter U upside down. And then another one next to it like this. So it's kind of like two letter C's or two letter U's next to one another to make something looks like that. It almost kind of looks like a banana or something. I'm gonna make another again, curve number 11, letter C or like a letter U upside down. And then another one next to it like this. And then they just draw some lines on the arms to make them look more like robot arms. So that's how my Q68 turned out. Again, this was Kitbot. And Q68. You can name your robots whatever you'd like. All right, guys. Well, I hope you had fun drawing with me. I had fun drawing these. Uh, and I will see you again next time. All right. Bye, everyone.